That's Bonin just coming out now. It's Bonin and Van Kersburg looking very much up. No, it is not. It looks to be Nicky Terpstra to me. The marker at the front. It a little closer. Bonin leading them down. Really good riding this, and even this front bunch is splitting now. Great chance for Etik's quick set to just ride on here. Now then, Nicky Terpstra putting on the pressure. It is indeed Terpstra then. So three from Etik's quick step. Terpstra, Bonin, Fondenberg, alongside last year's winner Ian Stannard. This is a real deluxe group. And we're now on to the labor. 13.8% maximum, 4.2% average. What a move from Etix Quickstep. Bonin is away. Stannard doing his best to close the gap. Does Bonin have it? Whatever happens, Quickstep are in a wonderful position right now. Because if the gap is closed, Terepstra's ready. Fondenberg's ready as well. It's good riding by Ian Stannard. He's got Bonin in his sights, but he's going to have to be mightily strong now. Whatever happens, they are wearing Stannard down. So Bonin is not just going to ride away from them. Looks behind, and that may well be it for now. So Stannard forced to do the work, and here goes the next one. Nicky Terepstra to the front. Here goes Terepstra then. Terepstra to the front. Bonin there, just making sure that it's Stannard who has to close the gaps now. Bone and riding away. It's Terepstra who's attacked. Brilliant, brilliant tactical stop by Etik's quick step. Really putting Ian Stannard under pressure. This is the race right here. Couple of big digs that have made it hard for Stannard. This is what quick step would have been talking about through the front. So Stannard attacks. Stannard going straight through. Stannard trying to get through on the motorbikes. He's got three chasing him. And here we go. Stannard giving it all inside the 2.7 kilometers that are still to go. Surely Etix Quickstep can't mess this one up. Stannard is pulling out a decent gap and it needs Terepstra to come through and try and close it. Terepstra coming through. Vandenberg is gone. Vandenberg is gone. It's now two against one at the front. Stannard just gains in terms of a bit of power in this group. Bonin trying to make it on, being willed to make it on to the back of the wheel of Nicky Terpstra. Nicky Terpstra coming through to the final few hundred metres, hits the front now. Bonin behind him as well. Bonin's not going to make it, it's going to be between the first two. Bonin shakes his head, it's Stannard who's taken a perfect tactical position going into the final 150 metres. It is Stannard up against Terpstra. Stannard's going to come through. Stannard again, is it? Stannard hits the front again. Oh my word! That is a wonderful win for Ian Stannard and Etik's quick step. How have they managed to lose that? Shaking a head from Tom Bonin. Never, ever underestimate Ian Stannard. On the Met News Blood 2015 looks rather like on the Met News Blood a year earlier. Ian Stannard the winner again, and he's beat three Etics Quick Step riders to the line. Nicky Terrence, Tom Bonin, and Stane Farnenberg also in that front group, finishing second, third, and fourth. Set for Marco, former winner with a strong ride in fifth. Beck from Avramat, sixth. Stenjak Stibar, seventh. Gilbert, Luke Rowe, another Brit in the top nine, with Arnold Amar once again flying the flag for France, finishing for a second year in the row in tenth place. When it was one against three, not many would have put the bet on, but Ian Stannard. Waits, sprints, and wins for a second year in the run. In Ghent.